how many foreign guys who are in a relationship with a Filipina are buying them from the very start without even realising it. The question to ask yourself here is are you buying your Filipina's affections? And if you want to find out, then be sure to stay with me here. When we start a new relationship, it's rather normal to be excited and maybe buy some small gifts or spoil our new girlfriend a little. But when a foreigner starts dating a Filipina, he can be in for a bit of a shock that only really hits home when he actually meets her for the very first time. And what I refer to is the culture shock when you actually go in person to where she lives. No matter if it's a little province house or a boarding house in one of the big cities. Make no mistake that both can be equally disturbing and play on your mind when you actually see the conditions that the woman you now care about is living in. And of course some guys who may have a caring and genuine heart may also be guys who like to fix things. And although being sensitive and caring are good traits, in this situation it could lead to one inadvertently buying the Filipina's love and affection. When you're standing there next to your Filipina and you see the conditions she lives in and the little luxuries or even food she may have, the reality smacks you right in the face. Now right here, one must know that this is more of a problem for you rather than the Filipina who's been used to living this sort of life. And it's very easy to get caught up in wanting to fix everything for your new Filipina girlfriend and her family. We also may go over the top and spoil her with many gifts, some expensive, that really she has no need for at this time in the relationship, but it all makes us feel better inside. Some guys may see that his Filipina is working 12 hour days, 7 days a week for very little money, and so he'll ask her to stop working and he'll tell her that he'll make up her wages every month. And whilst on the surface this seems a very loving and caring gesture, it actually can have devastating effects for the Filipina. I've heard of foreign guys who have moved the Filipina, and in some cases the family, into a rented apartment or house which may cost anywhere from 7,000 to 12,000 pesos per month, or around 150 to 250 dollars US a month. Then as I say, they get the Filipina to quit her job that she may have had for several years because she may be working hard and may be only earning 12,000 pesos a month herself. So in total, this man may now be sending the Filipina anywhere from 400 to 600 US dollars a month and in some cases I've even heard more than that. Now for some foreign guys, they may see this as affordable and just want the very best for his beautiful Filipina. And as I say, that's commendable, but not very well thought through and could be devastating in the life of your Filipina and her family. All the time that you're making these big changes in her life and buying her jewelry, watches, phones, etc., you think that you're looking after her, but what you're really doing is buying her affection and love. You can be very sure that you're setting a precedent here for the entire relationship. And of course, when you make drastic changes to a Filipina's life, it will play on her emotions and she'll start to see you for what you offer, rather than for the man you are. Now don't get me wrong here, I'm not saying you never buy her anything, or lend some assistance to make her life a little easier. But in the early stages of a relationship, you guys need to get to know each other for who you both are and not for what you can give each other monetarily or materialistically. Simply buying her many gifts and changing her life drastically too quickly will be her downfall and the downfall of the relationship. One must know what having a job and earning an income means to a Filipina. Life is far different in the Philippines and having any job or form of income is extremely meaningful. 
But to a Filipina, it offers far more than money to pay bills and put food on the table. It gives a Filipina a sense of purpose where she can be proud that she's independent and can fend for herself. This gives her the confidence to take on many challenges that may arise and know she can overcome all these challenges. That is simply something that money or anything else can't buy. And I do know that many guys don't want to look at this side of things, especially early on in a relationship. But right here, one needs to stop and consider what happens to the Filipina and her family after she stops her job and moves to a rented apartment, all of which you're now financing every month. And what happens if and when the relationship breaks down in the future, which can happen to any of us because sadly, none of us have a crystal ball to know what will happen into the future. And when this happens, the Filipina now has no job or income and nowhere that she can afford to live. As a result, she has lost all her self-confidence and is now ashamed that she let it get to this stage. What is she and her family to do here? All because of your good intentions at the start that were never really thought through. One must know that a Filipina just can't always go out and get another job. Life is tough around employment, and when a Filipino person gets a job, they hang on to it for dear life, because in the Philippines, a job equals survival. If you take that job away from her, then you're cutting her lifeline for survival. And I can't see any man saying he'll continue to keep on sending her money to live on for the rest of her life, especially when they've split up. It really is so easy to get caught up in all the emotion of a new relationship with a Filipina and want to make a positive change in her life. But one must know that any big changes will come later on when the two of you get engaged and then married if that's what you choose to do. At that point you can offer much assistance whilst she's still in the Philippines or in fact if you go to the Philippines to live with her. But guys, seriously here, never ask her to give up a job because as I say, a job in the Philippines is far more than just a job in our country. It's a lifeline and something to be very proud of. Taking this away can lead to a bored and unhappy Filipina and you run the risk of emotionally and financially devastating the Filipina and possibly her family sometime into the future if things don't go to plan. So be sure to use restraint and sure, Offer some small assistance from time to time if you really feel the need to do so. But anything more than that is not helping your Filipina in any way. And in fact, as mentioned, you could slowly be destroying her life. No doubt some food for thought here, which I hope you guys really consider. And if you'd like more valuable information and tips around dating a Filipina, then be sure to check out the playlist on screen now. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.